All right, coming up next, we get to this welterweight bout between Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz. So here's the proud rep of the 209, Stockton, California zone, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu fighter, Nate Diaz. Had a lot of big moments in the UFC, but of course none bigger than the submission win over Conor McGregor at UFC 196. And now the big paydays have started to follow, rightfully so, for a guy who has one of the bigger fan bases of anyone on this UFC roster. Nate Diaz is a very accomplished submission artist, and he earned his way into the UFC by finishing all four of his fights in the Ultimate Fighter Season 5. Since then, he's put together some impressive victories and really improved his boxing. Well, just by nature of Conor McGregor returning to the UFC, tonight is one of the biggest nights in the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Conor McGregor making his return after more than 600 days away. Of course, he dipped his toe into the boxing ring against Floyd Mayweather, but ultimately this is a mixed martial artist, and he is out to prove that he can return to the game the way he left it as the best fighter in the world. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Diaz is three years his senior. He is three inches taller. He will have a two inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A jiu jitsu fighter, only professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Body out of Stockton, California. He is an ultimate fighter season winner. Nate Diaz! And now it's his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin. Charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Are you ready? You ready? All right, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. So the Stockton Southpaw, Nate Diaz, back at it here tonight. More than 10 years on this UFC roster. Pretty fast starter. He'll try to get the hands to the target early on. And you know about the legendary chin. A lot of power in the opponent tonight, but easier said than done to get Nate Diaz out of there. Joe, what are you looking for out of him here in the early going? One thing to keep an eye out for in this fight are the counter shots of Conor McGregor. Right hand on the counter. And a nice kick. Diaz gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Kick lands. Oh man, 
defensively, leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Really missed with that right hand. Diaz gets hit with a kick. How about that shin? You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Quick jab. Diaz's hook shot is blocked. You saw that coming from a mile away. Good maneuvers here to avoid clinching. Oh, strong punch there by Diaz. Man, that cut has really opened up. McGregor gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Right hand upstairs. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, how good is that jab? Wow! He's got him right here. Oh, he might be out. The left hook hits home. Oh, nice jab by Diaz. Round two winding down. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely gonna need to get stitched up after the fact, and blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. And here's a perfectly placed kick that really does damage. Brittany Palmer is here, as always. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? All right, round two. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight, did it in the previous round, and pick it up right where he left off here. Blocking all the shots coming towards his head. Total strikes. Slips to avoid the right. And there he swung with a haymaker. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left him wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Oh, excellent exchange there. Misses a huge hook to the head. Nice punch there by Diaz. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here, keeping it unpredictable. Huge block there. Oh, continues to land those jabs at will. Nice way to keep the opponent at distance. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Front kick to the body by Diaz. Just over two minutes now to go. Wow! Oh! He's got him hurt here. Nice jab. that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. That knee might have landed there. Tags him with the uppercut. Back to over under control. Diaz has got the double underhooks here in the clinch now. Under a minute now to go. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to oh, find himself a huge right hand. This could be it right here. Thirty seconds to 
go. Caught him with a punch. Good combination so far from both men. Final seconds here of round number two. Hard body kick by Conor McGregor. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round, and we will continue to keep an eye on the cut on the nose. That thing is only getting worse. And again, you got to get that guard up, and even when he does, it seems like the strikes are getting through. That is a significant cut now on the bridge of his nose. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Excellent striking on display in that round. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. this guy all day. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round. And at least to my amateur eyeballs, Joe, he's not showing any signs of slowing down tonight. And he connects there. Lands an outside leg kick there. How about that shin? We show you the total strikes. He blocks the punch. <laughs> Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Oh, nice job on the counter there. I believe that's the first time he has countered in this fight. And that's a nice job of using his opponent's aggression against him. And a nice job to keep his opponent at bay. Effective jab there by McGregor. Front kick to the face. Punch coming. Oh, he's hurt. Oh. He's hurt. Man has his chin been tested early. Oh, straight oh. right. Oh. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Beautiful into mount. Diaz is lower job, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Big body punch. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just misses with that one. We're well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last. Oh! Oh! He's Great punch for the KO. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. And here's the end of the fight. There we see it again. Here it is one more time. Boom. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mogliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 13 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, Nate Diaz. All right, so another win for the 209. Congratulations to Nate Diaz and Team Caesar Gracie. And this is the type of performance that really endeared Nate Diaz to the MMA masses and what has made him one of the biggest superstars in mixed martial arts history. He put all the skills together tonight. The fight IQ was on display. Big, big moment in a career full of them for Nate Diaz here tonight.